Good evening, world, Arizona and America. My name is Michael DiCarlo, and this is DiCarlosDanger.com, my blog. It is about 10 minutes after 5 on Sunday, the 28th of October in 2018, in the year of our Lord. I hope you all taken time out in your day, had done a little reflection and prayer. If, if you give me a moment here, I'd like to show you, I'll read to you what has inspired me to create this video. Uh, it's Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and the, in, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly, heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the, your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in my mind, be alert, and always keep on praying for all the saints. All right. Today, I got a package. Do the mail. But I got a package. Do the mail. And those of you who don't know, uh, a certain company got a huge grant from the Central Intelligence Agency to track what you get delivered to and from your home on Sundays. Sometimes Saturdays and nights too, but Sundays. The Postal Service only delivers one thing on Sundays, right? Or anyway, when I got this package, I immediately got suspicious. So, understanding that everything in government is backwards, I put on my fireman's hat. Thank goodness for Halloween, I tell you. But I put it on backwards so I can think correctly. And when I got my knife out to open this package, this is what I discovered. First off, let's look at the labeling on the package. Okay? Since it was so small and minute, I decided to explode it for you. And instead of going to the store and getting a white and getting a, a dry erase marker, I used stickies. To represent it. If you can see up right here, it was from Caesar Psy Psyop. He was from Clowns Island, America. I immediately thought to myself, man, that name really sounds suspicious. But he labeled it here in my address. Candidate Michael DiCarlo. DiCarlo's Danger at DiCarlosDanger.com. World Headquarters. Sierra Vista, Arizona. Cochise County. Man, that's when I was like, man. The light bulb went off in my head, and I thought to myself, "Hmm, what could this? What could this be? Jeez." Anywho, when I looked over here at the stamps, none of them were canceled, so it didn't go through the mail anyway, did it? Because the post office would always cancel these stamps, because we can't have people reusing. What does it cost now? Fifty-six cents or something like that. We can't have people reusing two quarters at a time in pennies over and over again to send stuff and communicate to each other. We got to charge them, right? So, oh, and this is where I knew it was really for me. You see the bottom down there? That's right. Veterans for Trump. I, I went to the rally last Friday. That's why I was just like, hmm, this is really crazy. Now, I did run into some really nice, peaceful people there. However, they weren't nearly as open-minded as I would think they were. They were... Uh, a lot of sheeple, a lot of folks that problem, reaction, solution paradigm is stuck in their head and they can't get over it. And that's all right. I lived that way for a while, but I was a warrior. And when you're a warrior, there are no problems. There are only solutions. And sometimes a man's got to do what a man's got to do, feed his family. And so that's what I did. But so what I did was I put on a helmet to 
because it was immediately suspicious. And I opened the box. And I know what you're asking. What's in the box? So let us look what is in the box. And maybe it can portend to what is actually going on in society. The first thing that I got out of the box was a, when I opened it, oh, I, it came from uh, spazazon.com, crime. Spazazon crime is what delivered today. I'm going to fill you in on that. The first thing I wanted that I got out of the box, which was pretty cool, I thought, was a scientific calculator. Which immediately thought made me think, hmm, got to do the math. We did the math on the stamps, right? Post office would go broke if it didn't cancel all the stamps. People just reused them. Oh, wait, they already are broke. Because it's not an efficient way to deliver messages. The next thing that I got out of the box was a metal case of wild turkey. And this was the real joke. Because when I opened it up, I was thinking, oh, yeah, get to get some whiskey. Nope. What I got was a bunch of permanent markers and no dry erase ones and highlighters. To say I was ultimately disappointed, I was. Hence the whiteboard creation. So if anybody wants to send me some uh, dry erase markers, that'd be cool. You'll save me a trip to the store. The next thing I got out of there, out of the box, was a drain the swamp sign. Hmm. A drain the swamp sign from Clowns Island, America. Jeez. Things that make you think, right? Make you think. Let's see here. That's right. That is right. My goodness. I forgot to tell you the thing that I should have reported, but I didn't. I got a bomb. The bomb. I got the bomb in the box. Got the bomb in the box. But here's the cool thing, man. This is the, the coolest of the cool. Let's see. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? This is where. I'm sorry. I repacked this after I, I opened it up. Uh, I should have done this live. But, oh, where did it go? My goodness. My goodness. Oh, door. Oh, dear. Oh, geez. <gasps> That's right. This is the cool stuff here. This is what I really thought was going to happen. You know, and I don't want to belittle anybody that got injured in Pittsburgh either. I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, but when I opened it up the first time, I got... I got this out of there. It was a white powdery substance. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there it is. A white powdery substance out of there. That's what I really thought was going on. So don't put that by anybody, okay? Because we're probably going to be dealing with white powdery substances here in a little bit because they've already gone to church shootings. And it's either church shootings or school shootings. But the, I anticipate that the white powdery substance might be next. So be prepared for that. Da, 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 da. And the cool thing is they even have a soft side in the joke. They gave me white powdery donuts. Hmm. Not sure what that means, though. I mean, I like powdered sugar donuts. Oh, I, everybody likes the water powdered sugar donuts. But I don't know. But when I saw the white the powdered sugar donuts, I immediately went to get some tape to do what? to do some forensic analysis to see if I can get any latent prints off of the box. Unfortunately, no. But maybe I got DNA in here and they'll be able to solve it in two days, even though, you know, in Arizona, we've got people who've been accused of crimes that have, and victims who are waiting for DNA evidence to charge people that have been waiting to be uh, at the crime lab for, I don't know, years. But yet this stuff somehow gets done in two days. Come on, do the math. Do the math. Uh, that, uh, what else is in the box? Oh, these cats know they had a good joke. They sent me a sticker, a submarine force insignia sticker. 
qualify. Yep, those are dolphin fish. Cold-blooded killers. All they know is they got to eat. <gasps> Just like the government that we create, right? It's got to eat. Just because you make it, you got to pay it. A couple of books. A couple of books. We got The Devil's Chessboard right here. Right? What does that say right there? It says, Alan Dulles, the CIA, and the rise of America's secret government. Da -dum. Then we got, what would our founders say? Wow, these guys are just jokesters, aren't they? Kind of jokesters. Kind of just jokesters. Sent me a couple movies because I knew I was a really, you know, being a submariner, I'm pretty good. I like, I like to watch a lot of movies. Sent me Boondock Saints, which is a pretty good flick, cult flick, and then... Red Dawn. Uh oh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, Red Dawn, the original one. The second one sucked. It wasn't really very good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they sent me a coffee cup. You know, must know I love to drink coffee, and I do. I drink, I drink a lot of coffee. It's good for you. Not, not really, but I drink normal than I drink more than the average guy, but just conditioned for it, I guess. Then they sent me an Obama saint. Saint Obama. I guess they knew I was going to be reading Ephesians and they wanted a good joke. Anywho. Oh, you know what? His halo says Copenhagen. Sweet. Man, these cats really know me, man. You know why I like tobacco? Or I've used tobacco over my lifetime. And what else we got? Oh! Rusted up box cutters. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they're not rusted up. Your plastic doesn't rust. It just breaks. Oh, it is usable. Cool. Look at that. Man, I took over airplanes with this. That's what they want people to believe. Yeah, it's full of crap. Yeah, if you guys haven't looked into uh, any principles of physics or metallurgy or anything like that, I would suggest you do so because you've been conditioned to believe what you see on television and unfortunately it is a hurting and shaping operation you should look up uh operation mockingbird mockingbird mock 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 they're mocking you and uh mk ultra which was uh both of them are tying into operation paperclip which all these things are not conspiracies these are Conspiratorial facts. <laughs> oh. And what have we got? Oh. Look here. I don't know if you can read this or not. We'll make it so you can. I'll try anyhow. Anyway. You got the beatings will continue. Until morale improves. It's the saying we used to have in the Navy. Yep, yep, yep. And he kept doing the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. And one last one before we sign off here on this special edition of the CarlosDanger.com. Now the flag. This is, must be for tyrants. No quarter. No mercy. Tell me these guys don't read my blog, don't read my posts. Anyway, signing off, this is Michael DeCarlo for DeCarlosDanger.com, reminding you to say a prayer for good. I hope all of you are in good health and have, are happy, and that the uh, blessings of the creator of all, and that the prince of this world, are bestowed upon you, and they are if you just pray. Pray for your families, pray for our country, pray for our leaders. Pray for the president. He needs it. He's surrounded in this swamp. And the only way we can drain it is by prayer, folks. Peace. All revolutions need not be violent. Revolution of the mind sure isn't. Take care. Be well. Michael DiCarlo, signing off.